Hey guys, BasePlay1549 here, and I'm going to do an updated top 10 favorite Pokemon. Um, I'm, I am going to be showing them through the card form. These are my updated top 10 favorite Pokemon of all time. I might delete my other video. Um, I've done some soul searching, and I think this is going to be my final list as of now. <laughs> so, um, well, leading off, guys, for number 10, we got. I had to add a 5th gen Pokemon, even though none of them really catch my eye. There was always one that really did, even in uh, like the pre-release photos and stuff, and it's Electros. Um, I just love how this Pokemon looks. I love the colors. I love how it's like an eel Pokemon. Looks like it can like suck, like attach to something and like suck the daylights out of it. It's crazy. It just looks really cool. Um, this card is like the first Electros card ever printed. It is from Noble Victories, I believe. Yes. I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100%. And it's just a really cool looking Pokemon. Very nice looking. So, number 10, Electros. Coming in at number 9, another one of my personal favorites from Generation 1, we have Nidoking. As you can see, Nidoking is just really cool looking. He looks like a beast. He's very bulky. He weighs a lot. He's just a really cool guy. I l always love the horn. And I always pick Nidoran male for my one of my uh, part one of my party Pokemon in the games, the earlier games. And I always devolved it to Nidoking as fast as I could, which I found out later that's the worst idea ever. You got to wait until it learns some moves. Otherwise, it doesn't learn any good moves until like level 50. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just love the color, the purple. It really looks nice. Um, and just overall, a very cool poison type. So number nine, Nidoking. Coming in at number 8, we have Venusaur, yes. So um, Venusaur looks really cool. Um, I always liked uh, Bulbasaur as a starter, but I never picked it just for the fact that, you know, it was really hard to win with in the game because it's, uh, it's, it's like a balance of everything. I always like picking Charmander for the starter. But I just love the flower on its back. I mean, that is just so stunning. It, the artwork on these are just amazing. Um, and I always love the move Solar Beam, where it absorbs sunlight and attacks with like 120 damage. So, very cool Pokemon. Um, once again, not one of my favorite starters, but still is in the top 10 nonetheless. So, number 8, Venusaur. Coming in at number 7, we have Rampardos. As many of you guys know, I do like dinosaurs, and this is probably the closest relation to a dinosaur in the Pokemon series. Um, it reminds me of a Pachycephalosaurus, which is a dome-headed uh, herbivore, and it looks identical like that. And actually, it actually closely resembles another dinosaur called uh, Stygiomimic. Uh, Stygio Lily. It's a really weird name. Where it's actually got like like a rampart. It says like it has the spikes over the dome head. So, uh, very cool Pokemon. I love the fact that it looks like a dinosaur and resembles a dinosaur. And so they didn't really do anything like different with it. So, number seven, Rampardos. Number six, we have Blastoise cards. You're gonna like this one. None other than Blastoise. One of my favorite starters and uh, from Gen 1 and just, just an amazing looking Pokemon. I mean, you just, you once you see Blastoise, you know it's Blastoise. Like, he's got the cannons, the jet cannons that come out of his shell. You got the iconic blue color. Um, just really cool. And I always loved it, how, he, how, how his voice was in the anime. Blastoise! You know, it was just so epic. Um... But yeah, Blastoise, I mean, you can't really say much about it. Even its name, I just love its name, Blastoise. It's just crazy. So, and number six, Blastoise. Now, this one might surprise you guys. At number five, I have Charizard. Now, nothing against Charizard. I think he is the coolest starter by far. Um, 
But, you know, I, I've i always loved Charizard, but he just did not... At least he made the top five, you know. He, I mean, I, I you know, I will always love Charizard deep in my heart, but um, I just uh, figure more Pokemon deserve more respect since Charizard is, like, one of the most popular. Um, you know, once again, very original. You got the dragon that breathes fire, the wings, you know, it just, it just all works. And I love Charizard. I always will, like I said. But there are a couple Pokemon that top the list. Sorry, Charizard. <laughs> But yeah, number five, Charizard. Very cool. Coming in at number four, we have none other than Charmeleon. I loved, I always loved Charmeleon. Actually, more than Charizard at one point. Um, he just looks really epic. The color, the red, the flame on its tail. It just looks amazing looking. And actually, with this Charmeleon reprint, I actually have the base set. This one's actually from Legendary Collection, but it's the base set print. And, uh, yeah, I just love Charmeleon. He's really cool. I always loved how he, uh, flamethrowered Ash in the anime. Char! And, especially in, uh, when he evolves into Charizard, like, during that episode, Attack of the Prehistoric Pokemon, how he, like, is all lazy and stuff. Blowing snot bubbles. It's, it's just, it just works really hardcore, so. So, number four, Charmeleon. Now we're getting into the top three, guys. Um, these will be no surprise. If you know me, you know that I love these Pokemon very much. They are one of my favorites. And coming in at number three, we have Typhlosion. Um, not much to say about this guy. He is just epic in itself. I love the flames that shoot up out of his back. And what I love about him, he can retract the flames when he's calm, and then when he's angry, he can just explode with those. Um, the artwork is just amazing. He he resembles a, uh, I don't know what animal. It's kind of like a wolverine, I guess, or like a, I don't know. It's I think it's I think it resembles like a wolverine. And then when he uh, gets all angry, he stands up on his rear legs. He's normally uh, like a four-legged, like he walks on all fours, but when you piss him off, he goes into beast mode with his flames and stands up on two feet so um, and the name Typhlosion it just has a ring to it um, so number three Typhlosion very epic guy coming in at number four I mean number four what the hell am I talking about it's too late at night <laughs> coming in at number two I should say we have for alligator very cool guy. Oh man, as you can see back there, Shiny Chooser 95, he actually drew me one. I asked him to do that for me. Very nice of him. Look at that, guys. I mean, for Alligator, he is just so, he's so calm, but he can also be a very cool battle machine. Um, I have yet to see the anime where he, like, battles and stuff, but I've seen on uh, YouTube, it's pretty epic, so... And once again, I just love the colors. The blue, the uh, red spikes on his back. It works, you know. Kind of resembling Godzilla a little bit, but oh well, you know. It's it's Japan, so what do you expect? <laughs> but yeah, just a cool looking guy. He uh, looks like he's smiling. And I just love his jaws, the big mouth. Uh, Croconon Total Dial 2. They're like one of my favorite starters, too. And I just love them. They're so cute. But uh, number two for Alligator. Now, guys, the moment you've all been waiting for, number one, let me get these organized here because I have a lot of cards of this guy, and I thought about this a lot. My number one favorite Pokemon is Pidgeot. Yes. You might be wondering, why Pidgeot, Dylan? Why Pidgeot, base player? Well, I'll tell you why. This Pokemon is like the most original Pokemon are like the whole series, in my opinion. I mean, it resembles traditional colors, you know, of a, of a real bird, the brown, the tan, and the head crest just, is just absolutely stunning. The red and the tan and the, and the red even, it just, it just all works. And I mean, it actually looks like a real bird, like you would actually see this bird like in, like in the sky, in the wild. Even though you won't, it, it is fictional, but it just looks like a bird you would see, like, anywhere. And that's why Pidgeot is my number one favorite Pokemon. 
I always pick Pidgey as my uh, bird Pokemon in the games. Never Sparrow. Everybody says, oh, you gotta pick Sparrow. That's the best, you know. Nope. Never. Never pick Sparrow. Always pick Pidgey. Evolved into Pidgeotto and then eventually Pidgeot. Even though it, it is one of the worst, like, Pokemon attack and defensively or whatever, it is still one of my favorites and always will be one of my favorites. Like that. Look at that. I mean, you can't... <laughs> You can't get more cooler than that. Come on, you know. So thanks a lot for watching my top ten favorite Pokemon, guys. Um, I hope you agree with my opinion. Uh, even if you don't, you know, I'd like to see your guys as up, uh, see you guys upload a top ten, and maybe I can share your, my opinions with you guys. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And uh, Pidgeot, you are epic. Thanks a lot, guys.